Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. My name is Umi Kalsum binti Abdul Karim and in this video we're going to learn about chapter 1 thermodynamics. This is the syllabus content for chapter 1 and for this video we will learn about thermodynamics, types of system, first law of thermodynamics, and internal energy. So first, let's look into the definition of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of energy change of chemical or physical processes. And by studying thermodynamics, it will provide useful guidelines for understanding the energetic and the directions of the chemical and physical processes and to learn more about the um, energy change that happen in the chemical and physical processes um, we must assume that the universe is divided into a system and surrounding so what is system what is surrounding so let's look into the picture down here this is the picture of a, a cup of water okay and this system is the water molecule or water that is inside the cup and the surrounding is everything else that outside the cup which is air and the boundary that separate the system and the surrounding is the walls of the uh, walls of the beaker or walls of the cup Right. To know more, let's look into the exact definition for the system and surrounding. Okay, system is the specific part of the universe that is of interest in the study, meaning that we are interested in what happened in the system in terms of their internal energy, enthalpy, and so on. So that that's um, things that we we learn later. And surrounding is the rest of the universe of, or everything that is outside the system is the surrounding and to separate the system and the surrounding we must have a clear boundary and so because um, the universe only have system and surrounding so matter or energy that leave the surrounding must enter the system and matter or energy that leave the system must enter the surrounding Okay, next we look into the types of system we have three types of system the first one is open system and in open system energy and matter can be exchanged with the surrounding in that energy and matter can leave the surrounding energy here referring to the um, Energy can be referring to the thermal energy, okay? If you have a hot water, okay? Okay, thermal energy uh, from the hot water will uh, leave the system. And matter here referring to the water molecule itself, okay? And for and next is the closed system, okay? Um, closed system is energy can be exchanged with the surrounding, matter cannot. And for isolated system, neither energy nor matter can be exchanged with the surrounding. Okay, okay now looks uh, to the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, what first law of thermodynamics say? It said that energy can be converted from one to another that cannot be created or destroyed it may change from one form to another okay so i know uh, most of you um, already learn about the types of energy okay we have um, several types of energy which is um, kinetic energy um, thermal energy solar energy electric energy and so on okay so
So um, this kind of energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. So for example, um, the energy lost by burning oil in power plant may ultimately turn up in our homes as electrical energy, heat, light, and so on. All right. The next point, okay. The next thing is that first law of thermodynamics also say that energy is being transferred between system and surrounding. Okay. Um, because uh, uh, the energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be transferred between system and surrounding. Okay. So, for example, um, we have a hot um, coffee get cool off when exposed to the surrounding meaning that the energy of thermal energy lost by the coffee or by the system is actually the thermal energy gained by the surrounding okay next the okay, next we learn about internal energy Internal energy is uh, denoted by capital E, but some other book also use capital U. So what is internal energy? Okay, internal energy is the total energy of the system. Okay, um, energy which is inside the system, which is of uh, which is uh, our interest of study, and. The, the internet energy, which is the total energy of system, consists of um, it is is the sum of all kinetic and potential energy of all components of the system. Okay, this thing you can read more in the book. Okay, what is the what kind of kinetic and potential energy um, in the system? Okay, so uh, the energy of the system can be changed as work, which is W. Or heat small q and unit for the internal energy is joules or calorie and for molar energy is kilojoule per mole okay because um internet energy is the state function okay um so we cannot uh, measure the absolute internal energy okay we can only measure the change in the internal energy so change in internal energy is delta e which is equal to e final minus e initial or equal to q plus w which is delta e equal to q plus w so when a system undergoes a physical or chemical change the e is given by the heat absorbed or released by the system plus work done on the system or work done by the system okay delta e is, is the change in internal energy q is the heat change between system and the surrounding and w is the work done or the work uh, work done on the surrounding or the work done by the surrounding okay uh, to calculate the delta e or change in internal energy uh, it is important for you to know the sign convention for work and heat. Okay. Uh, so if the heat is absorbed by the surrounding, it is exothermic process. Am I right? Okay. All of you know about this. And the sign will be negative. If the heat is absorbed by the system, it is endothermic process and the sign is positive. Okay. The next thing is work. If the work is done on the surrounding, the sign is negative and if the work done on the system the sign is positive so if the system absorb heat you know, the sign is positive and the work is done on the system the sign is also positive so the internal energy of the system will increase okay to know more, uh, let's look into some exercise. Okay. In a certain process, 600 joule of work is done on the system, which give off 250 joule of heat. What is the change in the internal energy for the process? 
Okay, we know that to calculate internal energy, we use the formula delta E equal to Q plus W. And Q is heat, am I right? So heat uh, is negative 250 joule, which is, uh, we know negative because the system give off. Okay, means that the system release heat. Okay, so that's why the sign uh, is negative because it is exothermic process. Okay, you refer to this one. Okay. Okay, the heat absorbed by the sun means that the heat is um, released by the system. Okay, so the sign is negative. Alright, so W. Okay, uh, 600 joule of work is done on the system. Okay, meaning that um, the sign is positive. Okay, you can refer here. If the work is done on the system, the sign is positive. So you just substitute all the value into this formula. Okay, negative 250 joule plus, plus 600 joule. So we got 350 joule. So that's why uh, I told you that it is important for you to know the sign conversion for heat and for work, right? Okay, I think that's all for, for now. Okay, uh, so... Uh, in the next video, we'll cover about work. Okay? Alright, thank you.